Hello, peripatetics. This is the equivalent of the contemplative forest power walk. Why am I sitting here? Because I did the power walk earlier and I did the recording, the video, and usually show the walk rather than me. And, uh, but it was so windy that uh, the sound was terrible. So I thought I'd let it go, delete it. And when that happens, I always remember Michelangelo. Michelangelo was painting the um, Sistine Chap Chapel, the uh, ceiling of the Sistine Chapel on his back. Not only paint falling on him and everything, but he had to do the perspective so that from the bottom, it would look good. Brilliant work. But he didn't like the way things were going. So he said, uh, that's it, I'm stretching. It's just getting rid of it. Uh, and the reason that he did that is he was very unhappy with it. And he went to a pub to get a, he liked wine, to get some wine. And the pub owner brings him the wine and he drinks it and it is terrible. It's, it's corked. And he says to the, uh, to the owner, this wine's terrible, it's corked. And the uh, owner comes up and says, no, it's not, let me taste it. And he tastes it and he just spit it out. He said, you're right. So he went to the barrels and he just hatched the uh, barrel and all the wine started coming out. He says, that's what you do when you get rid of shit. Um, so Michelangelo said, okay. So he went back to Sistine Chapel, covered everything up and started all over. And the Pope was very upset, but you know, that's how it is. So getting back to the subject here, I'm going to be talking about, which I did earlier and I had to, just like Michelangelo, let it go. Um, I'm going to be talking about group truth and personal truth, especially with the politically correct mindset. What happens is that a, a group th uh, thought and group truth is one that's created by some collectivism that tells you what is right, what is wrong. So then when you express yourself, you're not expressing your truth. You're expressing the collective truth, the group think truth. And also truth is very different than personal truth, the way that I'm going to describe it. You could um, disclose something that's going on in your head and that's just sharing information, but that's not your truth. Or you could disclose some uh, discretions or sins. That's not your truth, that's just confessing. Your truth, which is what the group think doesn't allow, is that is it a very individual, pristine truth, which is based on your essence. And that is your honor, your commitment, and your loyalty. When you speak from there, you actually are living your truth. And truth is to be lived, not to be talked about. That is your truth. You have to have a foundation. And the assumption of that is people are basically good. There's some bad people, but the information from, from research shows that we have a tendency to what's called empathic uh, or precursors of empathy. Very early in life, uh, infants will show a sense of empathy. And also they will pay more attention to cartoons and things that have to do with cooperation than it has to do with destruction. So we have, we're predisposed, we're not programmed because we're not machines, but we're predisposed to step into goodness and to step into our pristineness with the ethics, aesthetics, and all these other things. Group think doesn't work that way. It's all relative. Everything is relative. There's nothing to ground on. Yes, there's something to ground on. You ground yourself on your truth, your honor, your commitment, and your loyalty to things that have value in you and in others, and live it, and then express it, and enact it. Not only will you be living your truth, but you'll be showing other people what truth can be, because you're grounding it, and also it's very good for the immune system. Your immune system can tell the difference if you're doing hedonic and eudaimonic kinds of pleasures and other things that I talked about before. So the point is, live your truth, not groupthink, and live it from honor, commitment, and loyalty, which are, as you know, the antidotes for the major archetypal wounds of abandonment, shame, and betrayal. So live your truth, and if something doesn't work, get rid of it and make it better. I remember... One more thing, I was writing The Man from Autumn and I lost a chapter, I lost a chapter. I didn't know where it was, just deleted it or something. And I thought, okay, I can either go into a deep depression or I can write a better chapter. And I decided to write a better chapter and I was so pleased with the way it went. So when something doesn't work and it's not up to your standards, don't put it out, get rid of it and make it better. That is my personal truth.
So enjoy. And next time it'll be from the contemporary forest. This time it's from my living room. So enjoy and live your truth. <laughs>